were basically composed of nervous systems, with the two primary nervous systems being the central and peripheral nervous systems. The central nervous system is made up of the brain and spinal cord. It's the thinking part of us, while the peripheral nervous system is made up of the somatic and autonomic nervous systems. Without us having to think, the somatic and autonomic nervous systems control our basic body functions, muscles, and senses. The autonomic nervous system has two branches, the parasympathetic and sympathetic. The parasympathetic branch calms us, whereas the sympathetic branch, often referred within textbooks as the fight or flight nervous system, is all about our personal survival. It immediately, automatically, and physiologically reacts to environmental stressors. Before I go on, I feel like I need to let you in on a little secret that only us neuroscientists know about. If you promise to keep this secret, I'll share it with you. Pinky promise? The fight or flight nickname doesn't capture what the sympathetic nervous system is really doing. Indeed, the sympathetic nervous system does react to negative environmental stressors associated with fighting or flighting, but it also reacts to positive environmental stressors associated with eating and sex. So the sympathetic nervous system shouldn't be narrowly nicknamed the fight or flight nervous system. Instead, to be accurate, it should be nicknamed the fight flight, feed, or f nervous system. Folks, we here at Five of My Weekly are terribly sorry for such foul and unprofessional language from Dr. Don. While he gets his mouth washed out with soap, let me share with you an interesting fact about the sympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is incapable of determining what type of environmental stressors it's reacting to. It physiologically reacts in the same fashion, whether it's involved in road rage, a lion is chasing it, it's craving a Whopper with cheese, or a lover is embracing it. It takes the central nervous system, specifically the brain, to determine whether the stressor is related to fighting, flighting, feeding, or sex. That's what I get for sharing a secret, I guess. As a matter of compromise, how about I just refer to the sympathetic nervous system as a sympathetic nervous system?